interpersonal skills, smile, handshake, eye to eye contact, giving them the product in their hands, letting them feel the product. What does the product offer? How, what makes it better than the others? Taste profile, sugar levels that they're low, name of the brand, what it means, what it represents, how it will make them feel. Pricing, very important. They must know that it's, it's, um, it's a competitive pricing, but they're actually getting more than what they think. And you upsell, you rehash, you close. So it's introduction, the greeting, the smile, the eye contact. It's set number two, it's the presentation, giving them the product, let them feel it. Number three is the short story. Number three. You also create hype about the product. You also make the client feel good. You even give them compliments. But all of that happens very quick. Sometimes um, step number one all the way to step number five can happen in just a matter of 40 seconds, right? And as you're explaining the product, they're starting to understand what it's about, it makes them feel better, etc. You must close. You guys don't close. You cannot ask out a person the whole year. Get to the point. Maybe at least after the third date, close. So they know your intentions. Good, I came here to ask them out. You want to be their boyfriend. You want to be their girlfriend. That is if it's the sisters. You know what I mean? Like, But you got to close. So Zaz, good to me. So you can keep it moving. If this person is going to waste your time. It's the same with the client. Although they're excited, you don't want to go on for too long. You guys are going to be speaking to this Sister, for the whole year, you are not closing. Like, close, no. It's the same thing with the client. Once I'm excited, you don't go on and on just because it's excited. Bazo Kutelis can't close this client. Once there's just that impulse that you've just built with this client, when they're on the hype, you close. When you're closing, you must make sure as they're putting out that 10 bucks, you must know where that comes from, it means there is more. You're going for the 20 bucks. If a 20 bucks is coming out, you're going for the 40 bucks. If a 40 bucks is coming out, you're going for the highest amount you're going to get. It's just like a lot of you guys, when you subscribe to these banks or when you subscribe to these clothing accounts or appliances account in all these different companies, they end up selling you extra things Things that you did not ask for even at a clothing store you walk in there trying to buy, buy an abuti sweater you end up walking out with a cap you're walking out with the sneakers you're walking out with the track suit because and they rehearse and upsold to you oh there is more if you buy this for now it's a clearance sale we'll give you two of these for free you know it's the art of selling we call it the five and the eight it's the five steps to success and sorry, it's the five steps to a sale and the eight steps to success. Have a great attitude. Be enthusiastic. Choose the right territory. Make sure your product is in line with the type of marketplace that you're going to go to. Um, um, have a great attitude all the time. Um, yeah, there's a couple of others. I'll probably just write them there on the description. I just wanted to say that before I play this video because I get some people who always come up with excuses. Number one is that no, but when I spoil, you're already famous, people know you. No, I got a lot of people, thousands and thousands, who sell Mofa in the street corners. They're not famous, but they're always selling a lot. They're making a grand a day, 500 bucks a day. They're making two grand a day. Other guys are making three, four, five grand a day, depending. On how big they are and depending on how they are hustling and where they are hustling etc because i've been doing these videos all these years they've been learning from me and how i've been selling so the excuse is not that um because i'm popular and also another excuse people would say yeah but that's his last money that's money for transport do you think when LA rings when they're selling you that comma comma matras or when they're selling you that imbuya um um furniture you think they're gonna worry about Imaliambuz or they're gonna worry about Imaliako Kibela? It's you who must make that decision yourself. So I don't like it when people say, no, but that is this is not selling, this is a robbery. No, you didn't pull out any gun. It's called upselling. They do that to you all the time. You walk in wanting this, you end up buying more things, right? Because they're upsold to you. That's why even all these other companies or, uh, or banks that you belong to, they started out as a bank. But now they're selling you insurance, now they're selling you life cover, now they're selling you a starter pack and a sim pack, but you never complain about those companies while you buy all those products. So don't watch this video and come with the mindset of telling me, I must worry about my transport. Why must I worry? I'm a business person. They must decide themselves with their own conscience with, hey, this is my money for transport. I'm not going to buy. I'm not going to use this money to buy. But I mean, as a salesperson, I'm trying to make the most sales. Yes, in Ubuntu. Yes, I care about people's well-being. But at the same time, you must always be ethical as a hustler.
but it doesn't make you less ethical when you're upselling. You must always go for the kill. That's maybe the wrong word to use, but go for the highest amount you can get from a client because you don't know, maybe for that day, that's your last client. So try as much, try and sell as much as you can. Anyway, talking about sales, marketing, PR, and branding, I'd like for all of you guys out there, entrepreneurs, hustlers, marketers, digital marketers, salespeople, I'd like to see your comments um, on the comment section about this video. Let me know what you think. And please, guys, don't say I'm as well because I'm a salesman. I'm selling. And when I'm selling, I have to close. I think so. Send that out. Man, show me on time. Fun and gas. Send that out. Ten, ten, twelve rand or fifteen rand. But I just can't get ten. And then I just can't get ten. Yeah, man. Two times, two times, two into one, man. Ah, not such a two ones. If you want to set them now, no, you pang a two. Yes, in ninety-nine pang a two. But my friends, one, two, so. I see it's time to come. I mean, don't time, don't time, don't time. Move on, and let's see if it's time. See what? Yeah, time move on, car. Let's send them. Let's send them to the two ones. Yeah, let's send them to two. No, you can't play. Let's move on, move on, move on, move on. See what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, grand grand, two ones, two ones, two ones. I'm from the Chela, man. Two ones. Maro, na ngi two ones, move on, move on, move on. ตายเลยนี่เซ่ตายเลยนี่เซ่ตายเลยนี่เซ่ตายเลยนี่เซ่ตายเลยนี่เซ่ตายเลยนี่เซ่ตายเลยนี่เซ่ตายเลยนี่